Hello students, welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we had started with the first chapter of 7th class NCRT and that is Nutrition in Plants. Now, we'll just have a revision of what we discussed in the previous video. In the previous video, we discussed that what is nutrition? Nutrition is the process of taking food by an organism and its utilization by the body. Next topic we discussed was modes of nutrition. There are two modes of nutrition, autotrophic nutrition and heterotrophic nutrition. Autotrophic, heterotrophic. Autotrophic nutrition, in this organisms prepare their own food. Organisms are known as autotrophs and example is plants. Heterotrophic nutrition, in this organisms don't prepare their food. They are dependent on other organisms for their food. Organisms are known as heterotrophs, heterotrophs and example animals and human beings. So if I ask you a question that what is the mode of nutrition in plants, then what will be your answer? Your answer will be the mode of nutrition in plants is autotrophic nutrition and the plants are known as autotrophs. Now today we will discuss that how plants prepare their food and where do they prepare their food and for that first of all I will rub this board. Now we will start with the topic photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is the food making process in plants. Food making process in plants. If we will divide this word then it will be divided into photo and synthesis. Photo means light and synthesis means to prepare. Leaves are known as the food factories of plants means leaves prepare the food for plants. When we have to prepare food then we gather all the raw materials which are known as ingredients. So leaves gather all the raw materials that is ingredients which they need to prepare food for plants. Now leaves need four things to prepare the food for plants. First one is carbon dioxide and the second one is sunlight third one is water and minerals and fourth one is chlorophyll which is a green pigment which gives green color to plants you must have seen plants of green color so that green color is because of this green pigment present in those plants which is known as chlorophyll first we will discuss about carbon dioxide there are small small pores present on the surface of the leaf and through these pores carbon dioxide from air enters into the leaf. These small pores are known as stomata. Now see here I have drawn the diagram of stomata. These are the guard cells and this is the stomatal opening through which carbon dioxide enters and I have written stoma here. It means it is singular. Only one stoma I have drawn here and when we talk about many stoma then we write the word stomata. You can take these two hands and see these are acting like guard cells and it will open so a stoma is opening. If it is closing a stoma is closing and when it is when it opens then the carbon dioxide enters through these openings. Next the plant needs is light energy. Light energy we get from the sun. Sun is there and it is giving light to this plant and this light is falling upon the leaves also. Now next is chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is a green pigment present in leaves and it gives green color. To the leaves and this chlorophyll helps to capture the light energy from the sun. The light energy coming from the sun it helps to capture that energy. 
Now leaves got all the three ingredients already that is carbon dioxide, sunlight and chlorophyll. It needs the fourth ingredient that is water and minerals. For water and minerals, the leaf will contact the root. Suppose the leaf is getting laid to prepare the food and it doesn't have just one ingredient. So it will contact the root for that ingredient because that ingredient the root can provide to the leaf. So how it will contact? The leaf will call the root that hello, can you please send me water and minerals? I am getting laid to prepare my food. And then the root will say okay, okay, I am delivering it to you. Now the root will deliver these water and minerals to the leaf. Now how it will deliver it to the leaf? Some pipes like structures, pipes like structures are present in the roots, then in the stem, then in the branches and in the leaves and these pipe like structures are called vessels through which the roots transfer these water and minerals to the leaf. Now water is not alone, minerals are always accompanied with water that is why we always write the term water and minerals. Now I have written the process of photosynthesis in the form of an equation. See this carbon dioxide plus water in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll prepare carbohydrate plus oxygen. Now this water which leaves get from the roots is in excess and it needs very less amount of water to prepare its food. So the remaining water and the oxygen is lost by the plant. Water is lost by the process of transpiration in which the water evaporates from the leaves and the oxygen is given out by the plant through the same stromatal opening through which the carbon dioxide gets inside the plant. Now there are some plants in which the green stems carry out the process of photosynthesis and not leaves. The example is of desert plants. The desert plants have spine like leaves means leaves are like needles. These leaves reduce the loss of water through transpiration and so the photosynthesis takes place in stems because these plants have green stems and chlorophyll is present in stems and the process of photosynthesis is carried out by their stems. Now you must have seen some leaves which are red in color or brown in color or any other color then uh, you might think that do these leaves prepare their own food or not? They have chlorophyll or not? So these leaves have chlorophyll and they prepare their food by the process of photosynthesis but the green pigment chlorophyll, the green color is masked with the red, brown or any other color. It is masked with the red, brown or any other color. Now when you travel, you must have seen stagnant water bodies like ponds. Stagnant means the water is not moving in those water bodies. It is at rest. Like if you see rivers, the water is moving in those rivers. So it, in stagnant water bodies, you must have seen slimy green patches. These slimy green patches are by the growth of organisms called algae and these algae are of green color. Why they have this green color? Because they have chlorophyll and they can also prepare their food by the process of photosynthesis. Whatever points I write here, I explain those points and you can write these points as notes in your notebook. Now we just saw that plants prepare their food and they prepare carbohydrate as food. Do plants prepare other components of food also other than carbohydrate? Yes, they prepare other components of food also. And how they prepare it? Carbohydrates are made of three elements, carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. How they are made up of these three elements? 
in the preparation carbon dioxide is required that is co2 this is the formula of carbon dioxide and water is required this is the formula of water h2o so carbon is present here oxygen is present here hydrogen is present here and oxygen is present here so that is why when the plants prepare carbohydrates these carbohydrates have three elements carbon hydrogen and oxygen now these carbohydrates are used to prepare other components of food like proteins and fats now these proteins contain nitrogen it means proteins contain nitrogen element so from where do these plants obtain nitrogen now we will discuss that we know that air is present all around us and in that air nitrogen is present in very large amount but plants cannot absorb nitrogen in this form means in gaseous form they cannot absorb this nitrogen so soil has certain bacteria which are used to change this nitrogen into usable form in that form in which the plants can absorb it and use it and when they absorb it when they absorb the water from soil along with that water they absorb this nitrogen also and use it also farmers add fertilizers to the soil which are rich in nitrogen plants absorb this nitrogen and then the plants have sufficient amount of nitrogen to prepare proteins and vitamins so till now we have discussed nutrition modes of nutrition photosynthesis which is food making process in plants and synthesis of plant food other than carbohydrates for iodine test i have made a separate video i will give the link in the description from there you can watch that video and you can learn that what is iodine test and what is the result of iodine test remaining topics of this chapter we will discuss in the next video till then keep working hard and enjoy your studies thank you